Hi everyone watching, uh, my name is Johnson Stanley. Uh, in this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to install uh, the RAM in the uh, PC and in Windows 10 operating system. So, uh, most of you ask yourself, what is RAM? Uh, what is the uh, RAM? RAM is random access memory, which a different application access randomly on the operating system. So, uh, we have here two pieces of RAM. So, as we, if we try to zoom in here, uh, let's try to zoom in and we see uh, the capacity for this RAM. So, this is how uh, RAM looks like. So, this one is reading, reading 8 gigabytes, 8 gigs of RAM here. And then this one should read uh, 8 gigs of RAM too here. So these are RAM which I'm going to install in my PC here. And then as you can see I'm on my Windows workstation here. I'm on my dual monitors, you know. Um, anyway, I can uh, uh, bring the stuffs here. Uh, so I'm using my, uh, you know, Windows workstation here, which is pretty much uh, cool and interesting. So. Uh, we are going to install the RAM. So let's see basically initially what, which RAM do we have, what is the capacity of memory we have. So uh, in order to check the capacity of memory that we have, we come here, I think we need some zooming right here. So we, you come in here and then open the file explorer, uh, right click my PC, properties. And then, as you try to see here, the installed RAM, or when we try to zoom in here, the installed RAM is 8 gigabytes of RAM. So, another way to do this, open the Fire Explorer is right click at the Start menu, select Fire Explorer, and then, uh, you know, still right click on the PC, properties, you have 8 gigs of what? Of RAM. So. Uh, as I said, you want, I want to install the two sticks of 8 gigs of RAM. So 8 plus 8 plus 8, that will be 24 gigs of RAM. So uh, let's see how we're going to install this uh, 16 gigs of RAM to make it 24 because we normally have, we normally have 8 gigs of what? Of RAM. So uh, in order to do this, um, I'll go ahead and uh, turn the PC off so I come here and right click in the start menu and I shut down my PC so as you see uh, my workstation is shutting down so right here uh, before I touch my PC because I have initially the power cable connected in so I want to make sure that I'm not affected by the uh, electro discharge, electrostatic discharge (ESD), so which is some electricity that's uh, you know stored in the uh, this uh, motherboard. So I want to make sure I have uh, this uh, little bit stuff. This guy here. Uh, I think uh, I'm not trying to remember the name, but it basically does the work of. Uh, you know, preventing someone from being affected by uh, electrostatic discharge, which is uh, pretty much electricity. I don't want to be hit by electricity, so I go ahead and tie it here. Just tie it. Don't need to over tie it. So once you're done, done with it, so I'll go ahead and unplug the power cable. So once I plug the power cable, uh, gently I will remove the top uh, tower. So uh, you realize that when I plug in the power cable, uh, there is some breaking range from that uh, there is power already connected in the PC. So if you want to do anything, it's not not to be sure. I have to connect this one uh, just on the, you know, 
on any metal case to make sure that I'm not stuck by uh, electrostatic discharge. So that's pretty much it. So I'm going to replace the word, the word, the memory. So basically, uh, I remove the power supply, the power cable. So, so and then make sure I raise this one gently in order to uh, you know have uh, this place where the memory is seated so this is the one stick of 8 gigs the one we saw previously uh, so I want to add these two sticks of, of what of memory so so we normally have uh, we have four slots one two three four that means can you carry four of them so uh, I'm going to install this one right here so make sure you sit in well because when it's not seated in well you will get errors when you try to boot the computer into windows so uh, in order to make sure that it's seated well you hear some sound when you push it okay okay so that means that it's seated in well and make sure you do it very well so that you don't cut anything here so this is the second mem so uh, you can you know turn the pc on i mean you sorry you can uh, try to insert this one too make sure that sound makes to make sure that everything is seated in well so as you try to see there are three slots of eight gigs of ram so by the time i turn on the pc uh, we should be having uh, 24 uh, gigs of RAM installed on our PC. So let's see whether I I have made something here. So what I do I go ahead and plug in the power cable okay then I come and uh, place the power button. So when I press the power button I see some fun here I see some noise then I wait for the screen to see what comes on the screen when I turn on the power button because I've installed the what the RAM inside. So let's see. I can hear the noise. So let's see the noise. Uh, what's the noise saying? The noise saying that Oh, right. It's saying that the system memory size is different from the last startup. So it's trying to tell that by the time I installed the 8 gigs of RAM, two sticks we are already on one stick of RAM inside. So it's like trying to confirm that there is changes now in memory because I've added two, two sticks of 8 gigs of RAM. So they're telling me uh, press F1 and you call the configuration if the message doesn't exist doesn't if the message persists verify that memory modules are well sitting correctly so sometimes this error it shows you two things either you've added more gigs of ram or uh, the memory are not sitting well so then go ahead and click f1 so i count the keyboards my f1 f1 f2 3 what so i have my f1 i'll click my f1 I see whether we get, uh, you know, something. So, let's go as we try to see uh, the pieces now booting to Windows. So let's give it a little bit wire and see. Make sure everything is connected. Where? See? Close by. Like that. Everyone is in the So I should have progress on the screen. 
So yeah, sometimes it's kind of take uh, time, but uh, you can, you know, uh, give it uh, every time. Second. Uh, I can't see any progress, so let me go ahead and shut this thing off. see some progress on both monitors. Alright, let's see this one. Uh, they can now, they can rock it now. So, but the, the customer, okay. So, we're now at the workstation. So, I don't know the password. And here we go. So, we're now in the workstation. But still, we need to make sure that, uh, uh, you know, the memory sticks are well installed. Um, so, okay. So I'll go ahead, go ahead and open the file explorer that click on this PC properties. Here on the RAM, you can see now we have 24 gigs of what of RAM already installed. Uh, remember, I installed uh, two two of two sticks of eight gigs of RAM. Uh, before there were one stick of eight gigs of RAM, so eight times three, those are 24 bits of RAM which are already installed. Uh, and I think we are done with uh, installing the RAM. So once again, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, so this video pretty much, uh, uh, it helps us understand how you can uh, install uh, the sticks of RAM in this space. Sometimes people complain that their computers are very slow or they are not storing many things because you probably have just 4 gigs of RAM installed in the PC so when you are buying a computer uh, basically it doesn't matter sometimes you buy it with uh, very small capacities of RAM installed so it's up to you to make sure that uh, you buy more gigs of RAM and install it or you can have a, a, a technician that can be able to help you to install the gigs of RAM uh, once again, my name is Johnson Stanley. Uh, JTX Stanley Tech. J Stanley Tech is my YouTube channel. You can follow me on YouTube or on Facebook. Uh, whatever, comment on my videos. More coming. Uh, thanks for being my fan everywhere. Uh, if you have a question, just drop it in the comment. Uh, I'm pretty much sure I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.